Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is Cheeseburger Egg Rolls. Well today we're gonna have a little fun with our food. We are gonna take some of the ingredients from a classic diner burger, we're talking about ground brisket, mustard, pickles, onions, and cheese, and we're stuffing it into egg rolls. Uh, instead of forming that brisket into burger patties like we normally would for a burger, we're gonna cook it loose on the griddle inside the Napoleon gas grill. Then we're gonna mix it up with the rest of that goodness we just talked about and stuff it into egg roll wrappers, finishing it with a fry on the side burner. All right, so a while back, we went ahead and ground up an entire brisket for our smoked brisket burger, and we had a lot left over, as you can see. We've got a couple pounds of, this is just purely ground brisket. So nice high fat content in that and high quality meat as well. And this is what we're gonna brown off on the griddle. Today we're gonna be cooking on the Napoleon P500 RSI B-3. We've got the side burner ready to go so that we can fry over there. We've also got our griddle in place inside the grill and it's getting smoking hot. So our grill temp's around 500, just a little bit higher than 500 right now. As you can hear, the griddle's been preheating. It needs to be smoking hot to really get a good little bit of uh, browning on our brisket. Just want to make sure we have good contact with the surface there so we can get a little crust formed. Also going to go ahead and season this with our Cattleman's Grill California Tri-Tip. So this is just a great steak rub with lots of savory flavors, dehydrated vegetables, salt, pepper, that kind of thing. Now break this up just a little bit, but we're just going to let it sit to form a crust for now. All right, so while that beef's cooking down, we're gonna prep the onion. Just gonna take one yellow onion here, we'll get it peeled and sliced nice and thin. All right, so just a few minutes here, you can see we're starting to get that crust on the bottom, that little bit of browning. So let's go ahead and just toss this around a little bit, make sure that we're getting browned all the way around. So burners on high heat now to finish this out. All right, so we've got nice browning all the way through now. We're gonna go ahead and take off our brisket. All right, so we've got some fat left behind, but just to make sure that we can get, this isn't just soaking in fat. I don't want this just soaking in fat. So we're gonna get some of that fat out of there. And we're next we're gonna be cooking some onions right here in the brisket fat. So that brisket's in better shape now. Let's go ahead and throw down the onions. We'll look to soften these up and get a little bit of color on them. And we'll hit these with some of that tri-tip rub as well. All right, so these have been on for about 10 minutes now. See, we got a nice little bit of caramelization going on. They're totally softened up though, so these are ready to come off. And we'll just throw those right in with the brisket. So at this point, we can head back to the table, put together the rest of this filling. So here in Kansas, some of the best and oldest burger places around, their burgers typically are cooked on a griddle. They've got pickles, they've got some mustard, they might have some onions with them, but you're not probably ever gonna find ketchup. I mean, of course, now you can get it that way, but that's really what we're trying to, uh, trying to lean toward today. So we're gonna dice up some of these spicy garlic dill pickles. We need about a half cup for our two pound brisket batch. Go right in there with the brisket and onions. We're also gonna add a half cup of our smoky cowboy mustard. So this is a yellow mustard base, just a little bit sweet, but it's got this like smoky tang to it. And then we're gonna just mix this so that those flavors are all the way throughout the filling. All right, let's see. 
That's it. That's pretty similar to what's in my memory from these classic burger joints. That's what we're gonna stick with for our filling. Now we're ready to bring it all together. We're gonna start with our egg roll wraps. These I just pick up in the produce section at the grocery store, they're usually in the cool section. And since we are doing this old school style burger, we're gonna do American cheese in there. Kind of offset toward the back, quarter cup scoop of our filling right there in the center. And then we're gonna roll it around there. So once we initially get that encased, I'm gonna take a little bit of water. I'm gonna wet the paper or the wrap over here. Fold that in. So we're gonna try and get a really nice tight seal on these. You may get some stuff leaking out, it's no big deal. Maybe you're gonna tear it just like I did right there. That's all right, we'll patch it, we'll patch it. And then we're gonna get a little bit of water here on the edges to allow that to stick when we roll. That's all there is to it. So for this two pound batch, we're gonna do this probably about 17 more times. Well, all of the egg rolls are ready to go. Our oil is hot, sitting at about 350 degrees. So I'm gonna start dropping our egg rolls in by hand, just one at a time. We don't wanna overcrowd. Probably get about three going at a time. Like I said, we're around 350, maybe just a little bit hotter than that right now, knowing that the temperature's gonna drop when we put our egg rolls in. We've got right around one quart of oil in our four quart Dutch oven but really you just want enough to come up to about the tops of the egg rolls. And if you don't quite cover them, no big deal. You can always flip them to finish them. We're gonna be flipping them anyway. All right, so it's just taken two, three minutes for us to get a nice golden brown on the outside. That's the only indicator we're looking to at this point. So we're just gonna land these on paper towels as they come out and then work in batches to get through all of our egg rolls. We actually ended up with about 14. Let's say 14 to 18 is about right on a two pound batch, just depending on how generous you are with your scoop of filling. You know, cleaning up your, your little splatters as you go kind of is a good reminder of the mess that you're not making in the house by taking the frying outside. Because, you know, every time you fry inside the house, you smell it for a long time. It makes a mess. It's easier just to take all that mess outside. And the infrared side burner on the Napoleon has more than enough power to take care of it. All right, last round coming out of the oil now. I'm gonna head back over to the table, mix up a little secret sauce. Now all the great burger joints have their own secret special sauce, uh, whether they call it fry sauce or secret sauce, you know, it's, it's usually not that big of a secret, you can kind of figure it out. And that's what we're gonna make today. Uh, since we're doing egg rolls, we're gonna do something that's a little bit Asian inspired, starting with some Kewpie mayo. And Kewpie mayo, you can usually find your local Asian markets. It's just a mayonnaise that's got a really great velvety texture to it. We're gonna add to that some sriracha today and an equal amount of just regular old ketchup. And then the little kicker here is that pickle juice from our spicy dill pickles. We're gonna get just a teaspoon of that out of here too. So a little spicy tangy dipping sauce to go with our cheeseburger egg rolls. All right, let's cut into this and see what we've got here. Cheeseburger 
feel. Duh, geez, come on. Cheese booger. <laughs> Cheese booger feeling. All right, let's slice into this and check it out. Oh yeah, look at that cheesiness. See how it just wraps around and it just melts into all that filling? Let's get a bite. All right, giving it the dip and our secret sauce. Mmm. So cheesy for one slice of cheese. It's crazy how that texture just melts into everything. And man, speaking of texture, the crunch on the egg roll is the perfect contrast to how creamy the cheeseburger and the filling comes across. I think that mustard helps a lot with that mouthfeel as well. But overall, it's just that flavor. I mean, that classic cheeseburger joint flavor, the mustard, the pickles, just a little bit of spice. And of course, ground brisket, how can you go wrong? Fantastic. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoy the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.